I don't know what the status of that field is right now. I don't know if they've even cut that grass. I'm going to start with the di diagonal here. Bags are good, fuel's on, fuel in the tank, primer's locked, and your car beats hot. isn't much. You probably have a little tiny bit of a headwind when you're on final. Up. Down the ground, I don't think there's anything. Just up here. Carb heat's cold. I don't know what the little ravine down here is going to be like if it's a little smushy. Yeah. So be careful. Over there. I think you're okay. I'm looking at the wheels and they're not, I mean, they're damp from moisture, but not soft. It's already cold. Checklist complete. Wonder what this season's going to bring for the circus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the political wins. <laughs> Who's in charge? Yep. Here we go. You're all set. <clears throat> Gauges are green.
Did you look at the uh, for the preliminary NTSB report on that midair at DCA? No, no, I haven't. So the uh, the CRJ, the, the airline, at the last minute, not they didn't get an RA because that's that's uh, nuked when you get down below a thousand feet. Yeah, that's to keep the computer from telling you to dive, and you dive into the ground, and yeah. you follow the RA. But they still had traffic avoidance, and it told them they went to a 20-degree pitch-up angle and 11 degrees in a left turn, and the tail rotor, at the last minute, they, they, they saw that traffic. Yeah. Not visually, but in the cockpit. And, and the tail rotor went into the wing route, the wing route, and the right side of the fuselage, and the main rotor was sliced into the left wing, which is why the left wing came off. Yeah. And that was the explosion, the wing rotor, the, the uh, main rotor slicing into the left fuel tank. And but they didn't see each other, but, but the, uh, the pilots made an attempt to do what the what the traffic said, you know, what the uh, computer said to do relative to the oncoming traffic. Man, they just a, just a few seconds earlier 